Hey there, Front Porch Devotionees. What is going on this weekend? You know, one time there was this uh, Sunday school teacher, and she was trying to share her Bible reading plan uh, with her students. You know, she would read through the whole Bible in an entire year. To get it all done, y'all have seen those uh, Bible reading plans, and one of her students said, well, I love those plans too, but I will admit, sometimes I do skip parts, like those genealogies and the begats who and begat who. What could I possibly learn from reading that every year? And the Sunday school teacher said, patience, my dear, you will learn patience. And that's true, and you know, patience is kind of one of those things that's running thin in our culture nowadays, right? It's kind of a rare virtue. It's kind of like common sense ain't as common as it used to be, and neither is uh, patience. Myself, I would have been a doctor, but I don't have the patience. But, you know, we've been dealing with uh, COVID for a long time, you know, about, I don't know, what, since March, four or five months now, and it just doesn't seem to be going away. and get worse. In some places, we've been you know, dealing with these lunatics all over the country that just want to destroy the country and everything and putting up with all that at the same time. And it gets hard, you know. You can't see family, you can't see friends, can't go here, can't go there. You turn on the news, it's depressing. But, you know, the Bible speaks to this because Hebrews 12.1 says, Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Or, in other words, let us run with patience or perseverance. So, you know, patience is something we'll have to have while we're waiting on the Lord to do His thing. you got to pray for patience. you got to trust God. You have to have faith. And you need to do things to work on your patience and build up that patience. Like I read a book one time, uh, you know, where somebody suggested if you want to work on your patience, like if you go to Walmart, instead of getting in the shortest line, get in the longest line, you know, and maybe do exercises like that. Whatever it is, you know, you're going to have to have some patience and let the Lord uh, do His work. Again, the Bible says in Hebrews 12.1, let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. And remember, the race of life, especially the Christian life, is a marathon, not a sprint. That's your Front Porch devotion for this weekend, and we'll see y'all later. Take care.